In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys an insane VC glitch that you can use to make a lot of VC. Not only are you getting VC from the normal Mockery games, but if you follow this VC this VC glitch properly, you'll also be getting 6500 VC per endorsement that you unlock. You guys will see that in this video, I unlock two different endorsements that give me 6500 VC. Follow the video very carefully and you'll be able to make a lot of VC. Drop a like man, drop a sub, turn on notifications, and I'm gonna go ahead and get right into the video. All right, so look man, to start this VC glitch off, what you guys wanna do is you wanna go ahead and make a brand new player. The player that you make does not really matter. We're just gonna be using this 60 overall for this VC glitch. However, I would recommend that you guys put Sharp Take on this build because it will make this VC glitch somewhat easier. This time, it's going to ask you would you like to skip the intro and go directly into my career. This time, you guys want to hit yes. You can still do this VC glitch in normal NBA, in normal NBA games and it's going to be a little bit faster plus you're going to be able to get a little bit more VC as well. When it asks you which NBA team you'd like to go to, it doesn't matter. You can pick any NBA team that you would like, but for me, I usually go to the Milwaukee Bucks. Now look, man, once you guys make this new player, you'll be loaded into the neighborhood. So from here, you guys wanna go ahead and talk to these three people. You wanna talk to this person right here who gives you 250 VC for throwing two flashy passes. Then you want to go talk to this other dude over here who will give you BC for throwing two assists. So from this dude, you get 100 VC for throwing two assists. And then this last dude gives you 1500 VC for scoring 40 points. You guys can still do this in normal my career games. I'm going to show you guys the best settings to do this glitch on. Also, it's going to be a little bit faster because you only have to get six fouls after you complete the objectives and you'll still get your VC for the mock hair game plus your objectives. So before you guys play your next game, go over to your options, go to your settings, make sure the game difficulty is on rookie. This is very important, especially if you're gonna be spamming this on 60 overalls, make sure the game difficulty is on rookie and then you're all set for this glitch. Also, as you guys are doing this glitch, you'll be unlocking your endorsements. You should have this mobile one endorsement unlocked after this first game, which will give you 6,500 VC once it allows you to pick up your VC check. So keep that in mind as well. So yeah, man, next, all you guys wanna do is just go ahead and load up your next mock career game. And make sure this mock career game is on rookie. Now look bro, once this game starts up, make sure you complete those three objectives. Since it's on rookie mode, it's extremely easy to shoot. So I'm using a 60 overall with the default jump shot. All you guys have to do is step back and shoot. And most of the time it will green, even with the 60 overall. So what you wanna do is score your 40 points, throw two flashy passes and get two assists. That'll give you that extra 1800 VC. And then you wanna foul out and you'll still get your VC for this mod career salary. So yeah, man, complete those three objectives and then you wanna go ahead and foul out.
All right, so look, man, as you guys can see, see, I scored my 40 points, I got my two assists, and then I also threw two flashy passes. I also was about to foul out, but since I'm a new player playing on five minute quarters, I did not play that much in the second half. You guys can see we only played for eight minutes, but we were still able to complete this objective. But even if you foul completely out, you'll still get your VC for completing this marker game plus an extra 1850 for completing those three objectives. As you guys can see right here, I went ahead and I did foul out with 0.9 seconds left in the game. This will show you guys that you will still get your VC even if you do foul out. I would also recommend that you up the time just so it gives you enough time to complete your objectives plus to foul out. But you guys can see right here, of course, you'll get your mob points, your batch progression, but most importantly, you'll also get your VC. So you'll get your VC for completing this game, and you also you should also unlock the mobile one endorsement as well. And then once you uh, once you load back in the, into the park, you'll get that extra 1850 VC for completing those three objectives. Now look man, once you guys get this endorsement, you should unlock it after one game. This is going to give you the ability to get that extra 6500 VC. What you want to do is you always want to hit counter offer. You want to put the VC all the way up to 6500 and then you want to put your incentives all the way down and you want to keep hitting counter offer until they finally accept it. So hit counter offer once again, make sure incentives are zero and then put your uh, put your VC all the way up and just hit, hit counter offer until they finally accept your offer. So this was the final offer that they gave us. Usually you can get 6,500, but 4,200 is still fun. You can go ahead and hit accept right here. And that's gonna give you that extra 4,200 VC. You can go ahead and hit continue. Now, once you guys load back into the park, you guys will see that you will get your VC. Now look man, once you guys load back in the neighborhood, if you look on the bottom left hand side, you will get your VC for completing those three objectives. Now to get your VC from that endorsement, you had to play like two or three more of my career games. So it's completely up to you, but for me, I'm going to show you guys how you can keep spamming this glitch over and over again. So now, you just want to go back to the NBA 2K23 main menu. What you get here, you can go ahead and delete your old player file, unless you want to go for the endorsement, it's completely up to you. But I'm going to delete it, and then you can go ahead and make a brand new player. From here, what you can do is, you want to go ahead and start my career, and then it's going to ask you would you like to go directly to the NBA. You want to hit yes. You can pick any college team, you can also pick any NBA team once again, but like I said for me, I usually go to the Milwaukee Bucks. Once you go back in the neighborhood, you want to make sure that you go talk to these three people once again. You guys can see that you're able to spend this glitch over and over again, so you want to make sure you go talk to those three people so you get that extra 1850 VC for completing these three objectives. And like I said, you guys can do this on as many players as you would like. So make sure before, as you're doing this glitch, don't forget to talk to these three people because you want to make sure that you get the extra VC. So yeah, man, after you guys talk to these three people, you can go ahead and press start, go over to your options, go to your uh, settings, and then make sure the game difficulty is on rookie, especially if you're doing this on a uh, 60 overall. I want to put the quarter length on 12 minutes just so I know I have enough time to complete all my objectives plus foul out because as a new player, you don't really play that much anyway. So after you guys have adjusted your settings, you wanna go ahead and hit play next game. Now look man, once this game starts up, you guys want to do the same exact thing once again. You want to score 40 points, get two assists, and then throw two flashy passes, and then you want to foul out. You will see that you'll get your VC for completing this marker game even though you fouled out, plus you'll get that extra VC for completing the three objectives.
so look man after you guys complete your three objectives and then you foul out once again you guys will see that you will get your vc for completing this game you'll get your mod career salary salary you'll also unlock that mobile one endorsement once again and then once you load back into the neighborhood you'll also get that extra 1850 vc for completing those three objectives All right, so look, man, once you guys load back into the neighborhood, if you look on the bottom left-hand side, you guys will see that you'll get that extra 1850 VC for completing those three objectives. But yeah, man, you guys can spend this glitch as many times as you would like. Drop a like, man, drop a sub, turn on post notifications. We out. Peace.